Welcome to the uh, monthly Sky podcast that me and Rad are, are doing. Yeah. Um, I hope you guys... Eventually. It, uh, eventually, it'll be this massive thing, but this is the second only, so... <laughs> the, the faces of Sky. Uh, yeah, we, we can be... Yeah, we're the faces of Sky. Uh, usually, when you catch us streaming, uh, we stream at different times. It's very rare to catch a streamer that's using face cam in Sky, and um, that's... Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. That'll be that'll be cool. Say what this is. This is gonna. We're trying to make this a monthly podcast, aren't we? Yes, um, we it may we are not trying to. Be yes. On a Thursday. Yes. Um, but uh, we're um, working out time and figuring that all that out as well too to kind of like a time that works for us because uh, Rad is in the U UK and I'm over here on the East Coast. So when Rad's like, "Yay, I'm available," I'm like, "I'm just I'm getting out of bed." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we both have like other bits of life in the yeah um, so hopefully we can continue yeah. doing this but we appreciate uh, you all for being here and we're trying to balance like not making it too much of an over prepared discussion uh yeah but also not not like just completely making it up as we go along so it's right kind of trying to work out what that's going to be like um let's get um I'm going to get Sky open so that if we want to do anything in there, that'd be great. But the first thing I figured that we would do is um, that we were going to be talking about is the uh, preview that jumped out for the new season that's coming up here on Monday. Uh, that's fair. That's fair. Um, let's see. So then let's uh, let's catch this preview real quick and then uh, we'll we'll talk. Let's talk about it. <laughs> I know, I guess this part of the preview had me. The music is so good. Yeah. I like that bit of the start where it's harking back to the first time you play Sky. Yeah. Yeah, I like the way that it refers to that as well too. I like the um I like the the spirits that are coming back, the the seasonal guides that were there. Mm. I've had a lot of like veteran players uh coming into the chat and talking about how it's so great to kind of see like those spirits come back. Because yeah. they've not seen them in a long time. So it's just kind of like, oh, oh, okay. Um, I guess the only other thing, I guess the only other thing to, to kind of like talk about the preview there for you is, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. What are you expecting? I guess that's my first question. Like, what are you expecting just basing off of that, uh, just based off of that? I don't know. I think that's the thing. I mean, okay, I, I think it just like, I think the the trailer looks really wholesome. I think mm -hmm. this idea of a uh, a little a little home for the Sky Kids in Sky just feels really cozy and 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 you know kind of very very fitting with the sort of content that I do. Um, and so I kind of I kind of looking and kind of looking forward to that. Um, I think it's like quite clear that this is something that TGC are kind of trying to develop with us, as it were. It's it, the, the wording in, 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 the, in the text that they provided kind of seems to say, um, you know, we're working towards aviary, but this isn't it. <laughs> this yeah, is, this, this is isn't the bit. final product of it. This is going to be yeah. like, yeah, okay, okay. Sweet, sweet. Um, I can speak a bit louder, sorry. Um, and, uh, and, and yeah, no, I, I just, I... I don't know. It's. I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be really interesting. But I think this idea of like a, a home in sky, I think this is something that that like seems to be a positive idea for the platform. Uh, but with everything, it's. I feel like it's kind of how how they do it is gonna be is gonna be a real challenge. Um, and I was I was you know thinking about this as their um, in their position of developers and like. You know, there's things that like we as a community like, and there's things that we don't like. But there's also 
things that we say we don't like but then when they do them we've liked them and it's kind of like yeah. i feel like they're in a really hard position of trying to take the game forward and do some different stuff um with us saying i want it to be exactly the same as it always was or whatever yeah. so i i don't know i think it's a real challenge and we'll, we'll see how we we'll see how we go it kind of always feels like they're being like almost tempting us and poking us with a stick and being like yo listen we're not doing this without you so and we're not just going to make something without your feedback uh yeah. so i love the idea of being like hey can you help us create like your new home kind of or, or our new home um yeah. so it's it's interesting yeah so we're yeah no spoilers are, are going to be talked about um i'm not going to mention anything i did do a beta playthrough of it yesterday and just kind of was taken aback but that's all i'm going to say yeah um it's it's going to be amazing uh you'll see rad and myself uh rad how are you um i know we're part of the uh, sky creator troop uh you've got passes going on over on on your stream as well how are you uh handling all that uh, with, with the giveaway yeah <laughs> um i'm keeping it low-key for the first one because okay. i feel like uh there's some people who are giving their passes away on tiktok and they've got like thousands of people who've entered i think that's absolutely great for the game that it's giving that publicity um but for myself i'm a bit nervous about <laughs> about how you handle that uh so yeah i'm just doing it in my discord for now and then we, we, we'll, we'll we'll see how we go but okay. yeah there's lots of chances for people to uh to get passes if if uh if they want to enter all the contests that the various sky troop members are doing i've got so, like the the mods on red alert did last night at like 3 a.m my time but they're awake of course because they're in different time zones uh being like where where are these people coming from because you're not live on stream uh I've directed i've made a tiktok and directed them to discord and it's yeah. just kind of like um where where are they coming from so hello to like all the new folks out there yeah. welcome on in um <laughs> but, but uh it, it, there is a lot it, of passes out there for sure yep this has been a whole learning curve for all of us yeah. about broadcasting rules, about licensed gambling rules, about uh, making giveaways fair and safe for communities and all this stuff. It's been like quite an interesting journey as a creator from that perspective. Yeah. It has to do with Sky. Yeah, um, it had, it's it's an experience. <laughs> We're talking about it like as a like as a as a content creator, like um, for Sky specifically. Like this isn't something that like happens all the time. So this is a new program. So a lot of these content creators are like doing giveaways for the very first time and a lot of questions have come up questions like you know hey what what kind of uh is this an actual advertisement are we uh you know does this do we have to display that it's like branded content now because these passes were you know provided from sky and it's just kind of trying to have that conversation of oh my god this suddenly feels real I, I, I thought it was really funny because it was like some of them were like we like maybe we're just too small for any of this to matter you know i average 10 viewers like you know so what if we get it wrong and then they start coming in saying i've already had three thousand likes on my post and i was like hold on a minute it's probably not not everyone's quite as small as the discussion we were having uh um is so uh you know maybe it was sensible to have that. well i guess in that sense like from what i and i dabble into like this guy tiktok i record the tiktoks here on stream live mm -hmm. and then i like i post them i cut them and edit yeah. them and um i didn't realize like and i used to put this is, this is another conversation that we can have too i guess that we're going to get into is that it, it's funny because we like to show our faces like in sky uh when we're streaming um yeah. but in TikTok, <laughs> when we're, we're doing TikTok, the 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 none of my TikToks from before would blow up for Sky. Like I would be posting yeah. clips and stuff like that, and I guess it wasn't really engaging or anything like that. But all of a sudden, I have like sure. the weather ones that I've been doing, and it's just my Sky Kid, and those have mm -hmm. been getting more engagement. So it's just so wild to to see that Sky as a community is is very much. You know hey you know if you've got someone that doesn't have a face cam it's just you know they, they just kind of like spawn there almost you know like it i don't know yeah. it's it's, I mean, it's I, wild to me i think we've learned that there's like different audiences as well through the sky troop so mm -hmm. kind of like i kind of thought there was me and there was you and there was mav and you know there's probably you know there's some differences but it's kind of 
similar kind of stuff. And then yeah. I kind of knew there was Nasty Mold doing the more tutorial oriented stuff. Mm -hmm. But, you know, as we've seen the Sky Troop, there's people doing like quite different types of, of content stuff that, that you know like your weather stuff and it's, it's not it's just not the same with the live stream or what no. have you and i think that's been i think that's been uh really interesting and obviously you know we got the pc version presumably going to be released in the next two months and yeah that's going to unleash a whole like new range of creators i would thought i'm imagining we'll get a lot more face streamers at that point you know, I would hope so, but I have been seeing a lot of uh, people going live, you know, supporting the channel, uh, supporting the, like, Twitch Sky channel, I should say, not, you know, this, or mine or yours specifically, but yeah, I, it's been great to see so far with the demo out for Steamfest, so um, have you tried the demo uh, I have for tried the live? The demo. Okay, cool, cool. Well, how, are you, how are you enjoying it for, like, PC-wise and being able to stream it? I mean... It runs absolutely fine on my PC. My PC is a couple of years old, mm -hmm. so I don't think it's like. I mean, I think I think the feedback I was getting from stream is there's some people who've got like either a very old computer or a laptop that was very you know cheap, probably got integrated graphics or something like that on it. Mm -hmm. And I think those people are running, but for me, I, it ran it ran absolutely fine. Um, uh, that is interesting comparing it with the Switch version, and it's like so. When I played the beta, I played the, I, I did the whole stream on the PC version, and mm -hmm. then at the very end, I came to the Switch version. I was like, oh, it's a little bit crunchy. Night but day. this time, I did it the other <laughs> way around. I did, a, I did a whole stream of a whole stream of Switch. Okay. And then I did a little bit at the end that was PC, and I was like, this 60 FPS is too smooth. I much prefer the, the 30 <laughs> FPS where it's a little bit more, you know, <laughs> one smack word, cinematic. So I thought I just I just thought it was quite interesting that's like coming from that perspective of, you know, mm -hmm. uh, you know, when just like directly comparing the two, uh, depending which order I did it, I had a bit of a feel. So I pushed it down to 30 FPS and, and it was it was fine. Um, OK, but, you know, as I said before, I think, I th you know, I think it's the same game. I mean, there's a few bugs and they need to sort those out, um, hopefully with the patch that's up do today uh we'll be able to um we'll be able to warp in yeah on, that on... <laughs> that patch yeah that that patch is that patch has, has got a lot i don't know if you guys have had a chance to read like the the patch notes or anything like that but i know on our end i've, I've read them yesterday i didn't read them on on stream or anything but um it, there's a lot of really good changes uh the patch notes also have information on days of mischief uh cosmetics and i think they even have like days of um days of giving information on there which i was not yeah, expecting <laughs> is that just is that just candle cakes and stuff that's there's it no, yeah yeah, yeah i thought i a... i thought last year that it had more be, but it's basically around like the american like thanksgiving holiday that's what it is that, that's that's around the time period so i'm like okay it makes sense but i also do remember that's when they're gonna have like the double candle cakes the seasonal candles are doubled the uh double heart gifts the uh, you know if you light your friends it's going to be a whole a, like a whole thing as well too so all that is coming you know with days of giving it's just i so is swear. that is that kind of days of thanksgiving is that what that's supposed to be i feel like yeah yeah that's because obviously pretty... we don't we don't have thanksgiving here so it's right. like not yep yep obvious. yep <laughs> yeah, and that <laughs> no, just kind of it's just kind of like one of those things where it's just um yeah, I guess yeah. There you go. It's just one of those things that <laughs> mm -hmm. No, no, um, that makes sense that why why they then give us more stuff and that that yeah. that, that, that makes that makes It's sense. to uh, get us prepared for, you know, the Christmas <laughs> cosmetics. Yeah. They have to be like, let me, let's give all double give... everything. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> Don't set me for Christmas. Well, the season's so only. Kind of um, Black Friday discounts or something. Yeah, um, yeah, it's kind of like Black Friday <laughs> discounts. Oh, um, absolutely. So, so in the chat, Cordelia says they have opinions on the state of the PC demo. Uh, mm -hmm. Have others had problems with it? Because I didn't, I didn't do a long test. But yeah. it was like I loaded it up, went to Wasteland. I was like, this seems fine. So have there been issues from your perspective? With longer, I have not. Got, OK, so I've got the early access. I have not updated it to I did not update to the demo because I was like, okay. as soon as I started hearing the comments. So 
the nice. early access one has been playing just fine. I've been able to stream yeah. hours without it. There are there is the fact that I can't teleport to anyone. Uh, you know, there is yeah. the, the fact that sometimes it'll just crash. Sometimes it'll take a while to open up. Uh, but at the end of the day, like it's 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 been a lot. I've been hearing the same things where like it is the demos not playable for a lot of players. And it's just kind of like the only thing that TGC has been able to be like, hey, you need to like submit this, you know, form and fill it out here. Um, a lot yeah. of people have been suggesting just that, right, Gecko? Updating graphics drivers, uh, no, you know, things like that as well, too. Um, you know, there's there's a lot. There's a lot of issues still think, going with it. And at the end of the day, I think it comes down to it's it, it's a demo, you know? <laughs> so, so when they gave us the, um, the beta version, they mm -hmm. definitely said, here it is. And depending on your graphics card, it'll run on it or it won't. And we, mm -hmm. there's no real rhyme or reason yep. which ones it'll run on and which ones it won't run on. Um, so here you go. Um, uh, so maybe there's still some of that. I've been put, yeah, there probably is still some of that. I've been putting, I'm like, this is the information they gave us for beta. I don't know if there was any information released, like actually going to the Steam page and seeing if there's any requirements on there. But yeah. I've been just kind of being like, these are the things that, you know, stuff for beta. I'm not entirely sure what, um, Oh, I see. I see. So I guess it really does depend on on the graphics card that you have. And I don't think I have an issue because I have an NVIDIA graphics card on my yeah. PC as well, too. So, yeah. So I have the AMD on the streaming computer, but I haven't I haven't tried it on that. But that was what they said to us. So I'm so I'm assuming it's those fixes that I may well be delaying. Why? Yeah. Why it's not out fully. Well, I'm glad that they did it like kind of like a, it seems like they're not going to have the demo out for like the whole entire time. So I think what will end up happening is demo, shut it down. No one else will be able to download the game or anything like that. Yeah. And they're going to get to work on all the feedback that you just got. And that's the thing about it is like yeah. TGC is doing that smart thing because they're not PC. They're not PC programmers. They don't develop the game off of PC. This this was a what iPhone only game when it first came out. <laughs> no, know? absolutely. And I think, you know, I think what's interesting to get into is is this 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 thing that this is their own game engine as well. So you know we talk about other games like will work fine, but then if you developed it in Unreal or you developed it in Unity, then obviously they already have build targets for all these things. This is this is their own proprietary game engine, like you say that they got to port that over to PC from iPhone, <laughs> yeah, or whatever it might be. Well, whatever so the original is, so it's different just, issues they're yeah. facing, you know. And I guess uh, it kind of gets me thinking, like, from a programming perspective, I'm like, wow, it's amazing that within, what, four years, you've basically gone from being able to play it just on iPhone to being like, all right, now we're working on a full PC release. Once that's all sorted, I, you know, hope to see something about Xbox, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. I guess Xbox really isn't pushing video games too much, uh, except for stuff on, you know, on a PC, you know, because it's Microsoft, yeah. so... No, no, I get that. But yeah, so so it's it's interesting that feedback because I, I I say I think when I first downloaded it, it, it was crashing on on startup, and then I switched mm -hmm. my computer off and on again, and it was fine. And so I was just like, I say I played it. I was like, this seems fine. I think there's some views that the flying can be a bit nicer with the mouse control and how that that works. Uh, there mm -hmm. were comments about the mapping of the keys as well, and maybe it'd be nice that the the mapping would be you know user definable rather than having to stick with, you know, space to jump or whatever it might be. And so there were bits and pieces like that. But yeah, I loaded it up, played five minutes and went, this is fine. It's the same game. <laughs> yeah. And then I, and then I yeah, went back. At the end of the day, I mean, at the end of the day, yeah, you're right. It's the same. <laughs> I would say at the end of the day, it's the same. Um, I was going to say at the end of the day, it's the same thing for me. I mean, I load into the game just fine and it, uh, it loads in and I know I have a, stream your pc and stuff like that as well so i mean it's it's easy for me to say that um yeah you know but it's it's accessible in a variety of 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 different platforms and yeah. hopefully you know as gecko said you know having a bigger audience allows you know more developers to be hired more engineers and things like that that you know because at the end of the day the small development team you know yeah and, and i think and i think this point that just sort of to address kind of a little bit of what Cordelia is saying that this sort of point that 
that you know this was an iphone game and you know the, the the way that development cycle seems to work for small developers is much more you build the game you push it out people say oh this doesn't work so you push out another patch the next week and then you you mess with it a bit more and you push out another patch um as you say which isn't kind of what pc users are used to probably a little bit less so what what console users are used to um and so i think perhaps you know they do have a little bit of a a learning curve um but uh, yeah, I, I hadn't, I hadn't up to now seen too many negative comments. I mean, I, what I mostly seen was get this game released now or yesterday, <laughs> because you know those PC people want to play it. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And I mean, at the end of the day, it's just kind of like you know, at the end of the day, it's like Sky wasn't meant for. I guess it was. I don't know what they were planning. Maybe this is what they were playing at the end of the day. And there's been such a, a request for PC that they want to get it right. Um, but there is I mean, going to be bugs along the way. Journey followed a similar, you know, because that was PlayStation exclusive, was it at the start? Yeah. Yep. And sure then, was. And then they bond to other platforms. So I feel I don't, like you know there was some expectation. I don't but. think that it's gone on to other platforms. I think it's just only on PlayStation still. I, I feel it. like I definitely don't have a place. Oh, PC. It's on PC as well. too. <laughs> but that's it. It was like PlayStation PC. I don't remember it being like it's not on Switch or anything else like that. So Journey on your iPad. Oh, hmm, interesting. Uh, yeah. So Journey Journey's a Sony owned game. So they when they were doing Journey, it was a lot easier for them to be like, yeah. they're doing Sky just straight up. Hey, this is just that game company only. That's it. <laughs> so there's not a lot of funding there's not you know so they're doing all of this from hey we're trying to get all these sources and we've been trying to do this for a while now trying to update them and not have access to like all those developers and all those resources for for sky it's a lot so it's 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 interesting to see like the process of it and from like a creator trying to be like hey how can i help you know, <laughs> like, how can I and I'm like, the best thing that I can do is like when people come live and are like, hey, are you having these issues? I'm like, OK, this is the information that I yeah. have right now. And I'm just going to share it, you know, kind of go yeah. from there. And I don't know how no, you feel about I, that I specifically, too. I don't think we can feed back, you know, like code. <laughs> right. Like we can't we and, can't feed back code. At the end of the day, we can just say, hey, this is not starting for me. And this UI and, isn't. <laughs> and, 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 and you know we, we, we can't really comment too much on their business and like hey you should employ more people or less people or more skilled people yeah um, you know I, I think we can we can feed back on content and we yeah. can feed back on people didn't like this and we can right. uh, feed back on you know I, you know what I think would be a great idea we should have one of these in the game you yeah. know but I, I think you know with the, with the PC version it's kind of like you know it's great that it's coming we want to expand the audience we yeah. love this game we want more people to be able to play this game um you know and and just feedback these things these guys are saying you know when when you do release it don't shoot yourself in the foot by making everyone think that you know it only runs on a 4090 and that's it you know so, right right and, and that's the thing yeah and that's the thing he they're trying not to they're trying to make it accessible i think that it's smart of them to actually release it as a demo like this i know that it's not complete and they've released it as a demo so it's just kind of like all right now give me your feedback because now what pcs were they not working on how can we make that work because at the end of the day I think the biggest point that people are trying to say is that if it runs on a, uh, you know, switch, it should be able to run on any PC at the end yeah. of the day. Or if it runs on a, you know, wonky phone that's old, even though the yeah. phone gets hot, you know, <laughs> <laughs> any, any decent amount of PC. The switch gets hot. My yeah. switch just yep. sits here, like, blowing up a storm, you know. Want, it, my <laughs> switch wants to take off, you know, when I'll play Sky. <laughs> um, so, like they said, I, I think that, that, that yeah. probably is about optimization and what have yeah. you. Um, there's a question of whether they should have released some of this stuff to us about, you know, particularly this sort of demo mm -hmm. for everyone yeah. in the world where, where well, it's not running. How is everything going to get like feedback, that? though? Because imagine TGC having computers being like, oh, hey, these things need to be tested. If they're not tested, then, you know, <laughs> they're not tested. Then when the game is actually they're they're not, they're going to end up being like, here's the full release. And what, what then, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like it's just kind of like, let's so, go. I think that this, this comment that, you know, in the chat about, you know, whether they should take a break and fix bugs rather than mm -hmm. 
putting in the next thing. I think that's, you know, an interesting point. And I imagine there's all kinds of reasons why they can't do that. Probably cash. <laughs> um, yeah. But, um, you know, I definitely think, you know, n none of the game, none of the, none of the bugs that I've had have been like super game breaking, but they definitely, you know, quite buggy mm -hmm. <laughs> from time to time. Um, you know, no one can particularly hold my hand on Switch in this whole patch that we've been playing on up to today um so you know i think stuff like that it'd be nice if you know those those kind of bugs didn't just like creep straight in um but yeah whether that whether they can take a break yeah i don't know feels like they're almost going in the opposite direction i almost feel like they can't like at the end of the day i almost feel like they can't because quite uh you know if they're not pushing out content then no new players come in to generate revenue and i guess as, like, as a that's just kind of from like a business standpoint right like you always need an influx of new customers and i don't think they'll ever get maybe one day you know they'll get to the point where it's just going to be like there's not going to be any more updates and it'll be sad yeah um but i don't think that's helping any, it's not going to happen anytime soon no well i think you know we talked a little bit on my stream after the concert about maybe maybe the concert at christmas was going to be you know the the high point of sky the point where it jumped the shark you know mm -hmm. um and although there would be some more seasons this would be them kind of like slowing down and then there'd be a new ttc game released you know next year or something like this um but that hasn't been the experience um and you know we've slotted days of style in between the two seasons so it hasn't felt like we had like some downtime between the previous season and uh, and the next season this time it's just felt like we went from one thing to the next thing and it's like you know content wise it's great because there's always something new and i think you know you and me have both said sometimes like streaming sky you feel like you're a little bit on the washing machine and it's like oh yeah today we're doing when like tomorrow we're doing trials and the next day we're doing even and then the next day yeah. it's the same so having these different events and different things going on is is, is really cool um but i definitely think that's 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 the way they've chosen to go yeah um, yeah uh, I think that if I had to be real and, and kind of like putting it in perspective and trying to answer that question, right? Let's present it in terms of like, let's say aviary, aviary is supposed to be home, right? Do you think the aviary would be like their, this is where they're putting all their eggs in their basket? Where they'll be like, this is, we're going to develop this and then... It's really hard to know, isn't it? I mean, I feel, it is. I feel I mean, like it's, yeah, yeah, right. It is. It is. I but like, like I, I feel like the wording in the in what they wrote about the next season was was just like, you know, this is going to be the thing that we're doing for the next few seasons. That was that was how it felt. You know, it's like and there's this idea of, you know, the players wanting to feel that they have their own home in Sky and that, you know, maybe the aviary area is is some piece of that. Mm -hmm. um so i guess I, I i guess that's that's what they're going for whether then you know say whether the game finishes off after that <laughs> i don't know <laughs> um but but yeah I, I just i just felt that's that's um that's where it is um uh yeah and they're very proud of the festival tech um i yeah they're very they're proud of they're, they're, they're very proud of the like, festival tech and the reason that they're very proud of the festival tech because they've essentially done an eight person server and been able to do things like hey 10,000 and I feel like the feedback that they've gotten from like the concert and stuff like that that they're kind of thinking more so I don't know what they're thinking actually I don't know it'd be nice to kind of be like all right let's do festival tech but make it smaller you know i don't it, I, I think it's quite a technical achievement and so like forgetting the game and the coziness in terms of in the in the industry being able to say we've got tech that can connect ten thousand people together mm -hmm. reliably and it kind of works okay and we want to show that and we want to use that i feel like you know there's a massive incentive for them to try and do that I, and, and and they're trying to find ways to do that that work for the users yeah uh and and they're saying to is it is it onions in chat they're saying they're saying to these people they're saying we are going to continue to use it but how's about if it was like this 
Or how's about if it was like this? Yeah. We saw a season of passage with the different experiments of how it worked. We've seen the days of bloom. I think the patch notes refer to something about crabs in the in the days of mischief that they're yeah. going to try it with. So, and, and then I think this Avery stuff is going to be another try to say, can we make this thing that we just have to do because technically it's got us world records and stuff like that? Can we make this work for you? Yeah, and, and I think the number one thing at the end of the day, right? Like, you know, however you feel about the game the best thing that i think uh, that sky has that other games don't have is that the community that it has is able to access like the devs right like you don't feel like there's this wall between you know i guess the player in the game in terms of like i can't reach a developer if that makes sense yeah. you know like there's there's loads of feedback forms there's you know loads of you know hey let me please and they're always consistently asking being like hey can, how can we do better you know give me the yeah. survey they push out surveys randomly like on mobile and stuff like that um you know i, I wish they would do that more like on other platforms it'd be nice to kind of see like a survey for switch or something being pushed but i guess i can see how how that would be difficult um but you know with pc being out i'm, I'm hoping to see you know more of that I'm hoping to see more of, you know, surveys being pushed out to, you know, yeah. as I'm and, playing. And they are, and they are very open and honest. And you know, we, you know, I watched, you know, a couple of YouTube videos before this that were linked from some of those posts. And you know, you can see like head developers sat there talking through their thought process. Mm -hmm. I think it's, I think it's no secret that you and I, you know, have ended up sat in meetings with some quite high ups as part of the Sky Troop and able to offer opinions and they sound like they're listening you know yeah they I do they're positive they, to see. it's <laughs> i like seeing that like me and you when you know sitting in being able to kind of like have those chances to be able to be like hey as a streamer this is how i feel about this like what what would make it better for me kind of thing like they they've directly asked us that and it's kind of like wild to kind of think of being like what is this opportunity i've, I've like stumbled myself into it's just I <laughs> I, I couldn't I couldn't believe they gave us the um uh, the global chat for the concert. And, yeah. And with with no rules, yep. nothing at all. We, they we were, were able to go. directly <laughs> ten thousand people <laughs> and say whatever we wanted as long as it got through the switch sensor. Right. You know, that was like like as opportunities go, I just thought that was like amazing. Um, you know, and and and, and mostly we were sensible with it. Yeah. Um but it you was... know, we could have just run around saying sub to Josh for the whole time. No, um, no, and, thanks. And, and, <laughs> no and, thanks. And spouting, spouting conspiracy theories and whatever else, you know. <laughs> right. Um, but you know, we, but we it's like a good amount of trust in us, but also like a, that was just like a, a, a great opportunity. Um, yep. So, you know, I, I, I think they are trying to do things a different way and they do make some mistakes. Uh, because of that uh yeah white screens was definitely something that was mentioned in some of the meetings that we've had is that fade to white although it sounds fun it should be fade to black always and that was definitely something i think they were picking up on a change they were looking to make yeah nope i definitely yep that's the other thing yep 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 no i saw that too neko that's something else that they were that's something else that they were working on as well too but it's at the end of the day, like there was only so much that they could control, right? Like um, there's still the function of other people being involved. And I think the best way to kind of see it is that because other people involved, you can't necessarily control, you know, what they're saying. You can only kind of like do filters and stuff like that. And I don't, I, you don't know their end. You don't know how you know how those filters work or if it's an outside service and how much of it can it can handle maybe i don't know and then that's the there thing some, yeah there, there was some comments about wasn't that you know that that, that when they when they gave it to to ten thousand people and allowed everyone yeah and then, then it, overwhel it overwhelmed it, it the, over the it overwhelmed yeah 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 and i'm um, like i don't know what they use for on their end to to filter all the stuff and whatnot so it's just kind of like um it the I think what it came down to is that at how of how massive it was, right? So like you've got eight people, right? And let's say you've got instances, multiple instances of like filters for eight people. And it works for that, 
right in those different servers and and whatnot but like if you all of a sudden put like ten thousand, and it's only used to eight people you know and filters yeah. for only eight people what do you do in that point you know and i feel like they were doing some kind of testing even within the concert for concert testing and oh, stuff like I, that I, I, well so so the interview with jenova that i watched she's the creative director you basically talking about this idea of you know when you test rockets eventually you get to the point where you have to put one on the launch pad and see if it explodes and you know this this, <laughs> you this, this felt like, like look, you had, that felt this, like a rocket that they put on to the this, this this felt like a, a similar thing didn't it you know yep. let's just let everybody <laughs> in the entire world have a platform to talk to ten thousand people off you go see if it works answer no i mean part of me feels like they will never do that in that way again and it be much more like so like on 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 like the Nintendo games, it was like you get a choice of sentences that you can write. <laughs> yeah, um, and you know I feel like it'd be something like that. That would be kind of um, cool to see, like in Sky. Like you don't when we're doing festival tech, you don't get to put whatever you want. You, you just, these are the selections that you can do, and that's it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> no, you're not going to be able to. <laughs> You know, you're not going to be able to say whatever you want, uh, especially like in a festival tech area. I think that they as I think they have a goal to kind of make it a little bit more um, MMO, I guess, mm. if that makes sense to kind of. Yeah. Um, and then what can they borrow from other games and stuff like that to kind of use, you know, in as they're developing that, because it's not something yeah. that the game started with, like it was never intended to be that way. They obviously started with a small server and all of a sudden they had the opportunity to be like, OK, let's mess with Festival Tech. And oh. of course, along the way, it's uh, uh, hey, if it was me, I would be like, there's an opportunity there. Let's go ahead and test it, because that's the only way oh. that we're going to see. Break it, essentially, is what Sky my, my, said. <laughs> my, my my view for a long time is that that like they built this game and then what they discovered a couple of years down the line is what they had was a platform, a yep. social place where people were meeting, talking, what have you, not necessarily even going in into any of the realms doing these things. And then then as it is a platform, they like trying to build the features that they, they want people to, to have for that, to make this a community, an online space that you can be. And uh, yeah, I, I think that's just, yeah. This, yeah. Is, this is some of the experiments we're, we're seeing. I do think that it does go back to that for sure, 100%, where it's just like it goes back to their goals that they have for the game, right? They, they want to be wanna be able to be emotionally connected with people and be able to make those connections, right? And I know some people think there's like talks about being like, you know, sometimes you just want to play the game by yourself and it has that opportunity for you. So it's just wild to see like, yes, there's this opportunity here to kind of like create more connectedness like within the game and it's it's uh it's interesting to kind of like experience so, as a player you know so if you go back to like flow and flower the mm -hmm. original games and these games were clearly experimental to what extent do you think that sky is still a social experiment and that they're trying to like try out new different things and ways of playing as much as create you know fun for the existing users I think that as long as Jenova Chen is the director for Sky, <laughs> they're going to continue going back to that. They're going to continue going back to all of, you know, those goals, right? About like yeah. making something that's different than any other game out there, right? Yeah. And doing it with those things that are in mind, right? Because you don't, example, I was, there have been multiple times that I've been playing this game right like through like the little prince for example or yeah. through season of dreams and i'm just sitting here being like i'm bawling my eyes out because yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm so emotional it has nothing to do with any of the characters in the game there's no like i'm not watching a movie or anything like that it's just like why am i so emotionally connected to this game and it's because of that intent right how can they incorporate like that like those features and combine it with things like that come with a typical mmo yeah. you know and so i th i just think like the festival tech you know it's just genova saying i think this is what we got to try now yeah with <laughs> festival tech i think it's genova saying there has to be a way to i think and look, hear me out here right I think it is a direct response to people being like, we want bigger servers. Hmm. Yeah. This is 
This is what that looks like. And, and part of a larger community. <laughs> right. This is what that looks like. Am I, I wrong? Have I'm, to queue I, to play on Josh's stream. Am I? Am I? Am I? <laughs> we want bigger servers. They have to. They they went. You know, they decided to do it this way in this form. I understand. I get it. I get it. You know, they could have started smaller, but Sky really went out there and said, 10,000, let's break a world record. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, um, and uh, you, was that a good decision or a bad decision? We'll never know. They this got is, a world record because of it. <laughs> but this is what I'm saying, though. This this was R and D. This was innovation. This was. I mean, they they they're on record as saying that that doing the concert and all the tech was a loss making exercise for them. There's no. There wasn't. It didn't make a profit to do any of that. I mean, yep. we kind of know that there wasn't that much to buy. You know. Yeah. Um, they so, were. So, you know, they, they brought back the old cosmetics. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> and hoped and said listen you missed it out the first time don't miss it again this time because there's not going to be like new things or anything uh no. but yeah we so, talked so about it last this, time we did so there's so there's something that fascinates me about a company that wants to do that and just says like you know we just we just want it to be different every time and kind of kind of just trust us and 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 eventually we'll get it right um, uh, but the approach isn't like nintendo where we build like breath of the wild behind closed doors and tell you almost nothing and then we release it like very close the, the, it's a very public process that they go through and that's it. that's very different that yeah you know what even that is different than other game companies because you're right you take games like breath of the wild and you compare them to sky and you're like okay sky you know is being developed along the way and you feel that right you experience the bugs you experience and i think that's the best part of sky too right like because you can go in if that if the door wasn't open to all of that i wouldn't be able to do things like chibi fall and take shortcuts yeah. and do this and do that you know because then it would just be like okay it's one and done the game has died out now there's nothing afterwards and so it's very very interesting to to experience that in a game because it's not like a game that i've played like my entire life it, it, games for me were always like one and done and sky is just kind of like okay nope come back here new season oh, absolutely you know yeah, every yeah. single time <laughs> I, I've, I've read that in YouTube comments and stuff so often where someone said, I was just going to play this game for, for for five minutes, give it a try, mm -hmm. thoroughly expecting to delete it. And here I am two years later. And I yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's that's exactly I how I feel. <laughs> I'm probably playing it more than I did a year ago. Rather than right. there. Um, I, I feel like the the tickets for the um, the days off things, they've been a really good hook for longer, longer play times. Um, I think some of them have made you stay in the game a bit too long and been boring, but like, you know, it's just like, oh, I've done my, I've done my uh, dailies for the day. You know, I've collected the cakes. I better just pop into days of style. And that just yeah. like so adds another 10 minutes of in-game time that I wasn't doing before. I think they've done quite well of like, like just spend more time in game. Do more yeah. Stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I get it. I get it. Um, last, last question. Cause I know we're getting, uh, we're getting into an hour here. It's gone really I... techie actually. I right. thought we were going to talk about the, well, I thought uh, we were going to talk about the new season <laughs> and then graphics and stuff like that. So it's just kind of like, it's interesting because the, as the game to kind of like wrap everything up and kind of like make it into a nice little bow here, we started the game out kind of talking about like the future of sky and, and what Avery looks like and kind of like getting grad's perspective to like the trailer um where you know the the only conversation to be had after that is what are the limitations of that right because that's all that's new in sky right now is you know you have all the tech issues coming through you have all the capabilities and what it actually capable of. so i'm excited personally yeah you know not as a not only as a content creator of sky but i'm excited to see you know what how many other different ways can sky break my heart essentially yeah <laughs> and, and, um, and there was something about the vibe of that trailer that that gave me the feeling that it was going to <laughs> yeah um as we go through this this is unlike this is a whole like forgotten village that we're going to explore and learn about and yeah I, you know i think there might be you know streaming with tissues 
yep. <laughs> for the next month and a half. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that's pretty much what's going to end up being is you're going to end up having to let's let's uh and and that's the that part right there that that comment exactly Morgana. Let's uh let's ball our eyes out together because no one should cry alone. That part. <laughs> I went I went I went to TwitchCon and I like I met people from like who stream other games and stuff and like, mm -hmm. people I you know met and all this kind of thing and you know I told so many of them about you know i've really discovered crying on stream and they and they looked at me like that was a crazy thought like and why like, why you, you obviously <laughs> haven't played sky it's right. all it's all about crying on stream mm -hmm. it, that's that's what it is that's i i cried on stream yesterday <laughs> and i couldn't stop it so it was just kind of like i know this game is doing a lot of things and i just yeah. You know. it's 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 a lot so um any 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 questions or anything that you would like to i had an absolutely brilliant one but i've totally forgotten what it was uh -oh. um come on Ryan, gotta write those down <laughs> <laughs> i was just like i've got something really interesting that i can ask josh but i, like, sure. I, think, I, I think i think it picks up some of it in in, in the way rad was up late last night yeah that yep Mm hmm Brad. I, I was I was in Sky Morgana's stream. <laughs> at, at like two in the like two in the morning. Uh, <laughs> watching her just I I've never actually been in her stream where she isn't being krilled. Mm -hmm. It's just literally it's just yep. it's like krill only stream. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you want to catch a krill only stream, go check out Sky Morgana. Do it. You won't. <laughs> Do it, you won't. You can find you her. Won't, you won't, you, you you won't, won't do it. it. You won't. You won't. You will be completely 100% entertained being like, oh, is she going to get curled this more, time? <laughs> more krills more krills per minute than any other stream. <laughs> can handle like five, ten of them at the same time. You know, it's fine. <laughs> um, uh, but... No, oh, yeah. yeah. So, so hopefully, well, it, welcome. Uh, if you found us here, um, we do these live over on Twitch, uh, usually on my channel. Hopefully, we can get it set up so it's both on mine and Rad's channel. Uh, links are going to be down below uh, in the comments uh, and in the description for the video as well, too. So, if you need to check out any one of our socials, or anything like that, the shout out that we give for Morgana will be on there as well, too. So, if you want to do uh, check out yeah. them as a content creator, you can. Um, Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. And um, hopefully, if you guys enjoy this, we'll be doing them monthly. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see as this as Sky is developing. This is also developing. So yeah. hey, work in progress. Next month, there's going to be ten thousand of us in here. <laughs> right, you're right. Next month, suddenly <laughs> we'll get so big, it'll be like ten thousand. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um but i appreciate it. No, nothing else uh before i know i'm wrapping up here but um and i just want to be mindful of your time that's all no no i think i think it's uh i think it's been good um okay. and uh yeah let's uh, here's the next one so yeah here's the next one thank you thank you guys for being here in chat um i have a burning question for ad wait a minute hold on well this is a good second do it do it do it do, do, it, do it, questions do it. at the end of the no, we should have this. FAQ. FAQ at the end? No, AMA. No, no, no. Never say AMA. No. That was a mistake. Oh, I I <laughs> I have that as a tag on the stream, actually. So I mean <laughs> hey. I uh, <laughs> people ask me like really deep political questions. Oh, I won't answer that. anything political. Oh, what's your favorite sky outfit? Because I see you changing outfits all the time. Uh I I really like the um, sword trousers, the sword pants, because because but just because they were a bit different, but also because um, they were. I saved 200 candles when I was first in the game for those, and I just feel like that was the hard work to save it, and they really they're really worth it. Um, <laughs> so Rad so, really said, I spent 200 candles on this outfit. I'm not wearing anything else. <laughs> and, uh, for, for a very long, well, for a very long time, I just wore I just wore the moth cape. And to mm -hmm. be fair, the moth cape is also iconic, you know. And I think you know I do like streams where we just dressed as a moth. I think that's also like oh, I've never done that before. Um, I've never done dressed as a moth day. You should Ooh. go back. Go back to being a moth. Ask people to help you out. <laughs> um, <laughs> with the. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna wait until I have all of my wing lights for that day because I wanna see if people actually notice that yeah. I have a second Yeah. Just <laughs> hang, I have a, all hang 12 up. wedges. 
in the prairie social area in your moth cape, just like hang up, honking like crazy at everybody, and just, <laughs> just like kind of walking up to everyone, show, show me how to deal with the krill. <laughs> right, just kind of be like honk honk. honk. <laughs> <laughs> I feel a Moth Monday coming on. Hey, that's that's uh, content right there for sure. Um, so, so yeah, um, have you got a favorite outfit, Josh? I feel like the answer is there's too many good ones to pick just one. I, for the longest time, when I... I guess we're going to get into a quick little story. For the longest time, I was like, there's too many to pick from. Then I had for a little bit settled. I'm like, bunny mask, yes! Mm. And uh, I, I got it from the Peking Postman when they came back as a traveling spirit. Mm. And I think it was like last year. And I was like, I'm not going to I'm not going to take, take this mask off. This is going to be my brand. This is. Yeah, bunny. Yeah. <laughs> that went out the window after about a couple of months. I don't remember what replaced it. I um, I now have the blank face mask that I use oh, yeah. often. They started introducing uh, like glasses and things like that. And I'm like, oh, the experimenting with blank face and that. And now I've gotten like the 100% constellation in Valley. And so I've got like the Valley hair now. And I'm just kind of like, I'm still trying to find my outfit. <laughs> it's going to be different <laughs> every single time, but I'll, I'll find it at some point. So. And uh, and who are you voting for in the uh, which TS should come back? Vote? I don't have someone that I'm like, yes, come back, because chances are I don't have them. Uh, so I'd be interested to see like what the light and the darkness spirits would look like from shattering. I'm very, very yeah. curious. So if one of those wins, I wouldn't be mad. But Nate in my community here says right. juggler or riot. And it's having a, a riot in chat right now. Um, juggler or Mav. I have to I have to do a shout out for Mav. Maverick Crossing. Um, yeah. It was a dancing performer. Uh, kimono Grandpa. That's it. We in the household. We want Juggler for Nate. I have to support Mav to a neat dancing performer. And then I, out of curiosity, for me personally, if I had to make a choice, I'd be really curious to see how those come back as traveling spirits, uh, yeah. the light and the darkness ones. No, I, I, I kind of think similar to you. Like some of those, some of those like weird ones we haven't had yet would be mm -hmm. more interesting. But I think given they give us that choice, I think it's going to head towards those those key ones that that people love and that they haven't that haven't been back or haven't been back for a long time. So yep, yep, going to be. That's true. Yeah. That's true. That's it. There you go. Yeah, that's that's yeah. where it's at. So go vote, though. Like that link. That's only going to be available until what? The 16th? Is that right? Yeah. yeah I'm going to yeah. link down below to go vote. That's that. I'll have the link uh, available down there in the description as well, too. So um, any 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 other questions that are coming through chat or anything else that you think of, Red? I think we're good. Yeah. That's, uh, I think I think we've done an hour ish, haven't we? Quite long anyway. <laughs> yeah yeah it's it's about an hour yeah. so we're good we're good well thank yeah. you very much i appreciate you uh for being here we're actually i'm not gonna continue uh stream either um so just so that you guys know but thank you, thank you rad for being here no thank you for for being here i hope next time we can get this sorted out so that it shows for both uh streams and and then streams. i'll i'll Pick have this you. i think i've sent this as you so that way if you've got a different format uh yeah so Thank you very much. Uh, thank you to, uh, to all of you watching. Uh, if you're watching the YouTube again, um, yeah. make sure that you go and, and follow Rad. Uh, follow us over on Twitch. We're usually live, you know, you. throughout the week. Um, and uh, we appreciate you for watching. So, yeah, you have a good. great rest of your days. Bye-bye, y'all. Bye.